O my servants, I have made oppression unlawful for me and unlawful for you, so do not commit. O my servants, all of you are liable to err, except for those whom I guide on the right path. Therefore seek guidance from me, so that I should direct you to the right path. O my servants, all of you are hungry, needy, except for those whom I feed. Therefore seek food from me, that I may feed you. O oh, my servants, all of you are naked, except for those whom I provide garments. Therefore seek clothing from me, that I should clothe you. O oh, my servants, you sin by night and by day, and I am there to pardon your sins. Therefore seek forgiveness from me, so that I should grant you pardon. O oh, my servants, you can neither do me any harm, nor can you do me any good. O oh, my servants, even if the first amongst you and the last amongst you, and the whole human race of yours, and that of jinns, becomes as pious as the most pious heart of anyone amongst you, it will not add anything to my power or kingdom. O my servants, if the first amongst you, and the last amongst you, and the whole human race of yours, and the jinns, becomes as wicked as the most wicked heart of anyone amongst you, it will not decrease anything from my power or kingdom. O oh, my servants, even if the first amongst you, and the last amongst you, and the whole human race of yours, and the jinns gathered, and that of jinns gathered together on a sector of land, and all ask of me, and if I were to give every one of them what they ask, that will not in any way decrease me what I have any more than a needle decreases what is in the ocean when it is put into it. O oh, my servants, these deeds of yours which I am recording for you, I shall reward you for them. So he who finds good should praise Allah, and he who finds other than that should not blame anyone but himself. He is the giver of life. He is the causer of death, while death has no effect upon him, because he is the ever-living, the self-subsisting, the eternal and the only absolute. All the praise is for Allah, who has power over all things, and there is in reality no power and no strength, no influence to cause benefit or detriment except through Him. It is He who created this complex world, the seen and the unseen, the evident and the speculative, the earth and all that is on it and everything that is in it. It is He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the glorious and the mighty, the powerful, who created the heavens that are near and far, the atmosphere and the hemisphere, the stratosphere, the outer space of stars, planets and galaxies. It is He who created all of this in detail and diversity in a systematic way that scientific laws can be deduced from it, yet so expansive and so profound that science is unable to accurately measure or predict. It is He who created and determined all at once with no pause between His word be, and it is the heavens, the earth, the angels, the jinn, the men, the beasts, the birds, the insects, the fish in the sea, of every species and kind, all created simply by His command. It is He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who created the life and mandated death in order to see which of His creatures among the human beings that He has given volition, that He has given a choice to, would be the best in their conduct and their worship. It is He, Allah, the glorious and the powerful, who sent into this world at different times and places, messengers, peace and blessings be upon them all, who were gifted with divine scriptures, the highest of morals, by which to guide and educate the human beings to a life 
which is legislated for them and fulfills their very purpose. It is he who sent his messengers and prophets with the common message of strict monotheism, which simply means that there is absolutely no one worthy of worship, no one worthy of our obedience except the Almighty, the One, the Absolute, and who has no partners. It is He, that majestic, powerful Creator, who gave the human beings intellect, culture, civilization, temporary power, passing pleasures and possessions. Yet He has subjected all who are on this playing field that we call life with the mandate of death, a fact which humbles the arrogant, the wealthy, the rebellious, the disbeliever, the doubter, the ungrateful, the corrupt, the ignorant, the deviant, without exception. It is this fact that we need to ponder upon in order to reconcile truth from falsehood, right from wrong, the true vision from the apparent mirage of life. Fortunate are those who understand the fleeting value of this world, the trauma and the swiftness of death that comes without any announcement, the promise and the assurity of the grave and the resurrection, the sorting out, the ensuing judgment and the determination for the final and permanent destinations of paradise and the bottomless pit of hell. In the seventh surah of the Quran, the 59th verse, listen to what the Creator says. This is His word. Listen to what He says about the creation, the origin of the creation of the heavens and the earth. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Indeed, your Lord is Allah who created the heavens and the earth in six periods and then established himself above the throne, the throne which is above the waters and above what we call space. He covers the night with the day, causing another night to chase it rapidly. And then he created the sun and the moon and the stars and he subjected them by his command unquestionably his is the creation and he is the only creator and his is the command and no one shares that command blessed is Allah Lord of the worlds he says all praises are for Allah who created the heavens and the earth and made the darkness and the light then those who disbelieve, they equate others with him while they have no power themselves. Then he decreed a term of life for them to exist. And then he gave them a specified time in which they will die and be destroyed. And that is all known to him. Then still, you are in doubt. Then he says, and certainly did we create man from an extract of clay. And then we placed him as a sperm drop in a firm lodging place called the womb. Then we made the sperm drop into a clinging clot of blood. And then we made the clot into a lump called a fetus. And then we made from it the lump, bones, and then we covered the bones with flesh. And then we developed him into another creation that you call the complete human being. So blessed is Allah, the best of creators. Then indeed, after all of that, so certainly you shall die. Then indeed, on that day of resurrection, a day about which there is no doubt, you'll come forth and be judged. And he says again to us in the Quran, he brings the living out of the dead 
and brings the dead out of the living and brings to life the earth after its lifelessness and thus will you be brought out from it and of his signs is that he created you from dust the dust of the earth then suddenly you were human beings multiplying and dispersed through the earth and of his signs is that he created you and created for you for yourselves mates in order that you may find tranquility in them indeed in that are signs for people who give thought we don't know that there are any other beings that have the intelligence that can make choices that can compute that can manipulate that can calculate we don't know of any other beings in the whole heavens and earth except on the earth and isn't it fantastic that the earth is the third planet from the sun had it been the second planet it would be too hot for life had it been the fourth planet it would be too cold blessed be the creator who knows in proportion who knows and who has settled and determined the earth and given it its ecosystems in which our life has evolved out of it so he gave this earth a sky acting as it were a canopy to protect it and so he gave this earth a carpet with mountains and streams and placed upon that earth mountains to give it the balance it needs and he gave that earth all kinds of vegetation and he gave that earth the majority of its surface water so that it had life to generate other forms of life and inside those oceans he placed countless forms of life that we have yet to discover and he placed inside those mountains gold diamonds all kinds of things from which we gain our benefit from and he placed inside the atmosphere itself what we need just to breathe and live and from the dirt of the earth he created the human beings after he created all the other forms of life this is the decree that has been made in the Quran that was revealed indeed in that are signs for people who give thought.